Hi everybody and welcome. Now in this video we are going to combine a couple of things that we've talked about before. I'm going to put links below this video to a couple of my previous ones all about rounding to the nearest 10 and 100 and also about checking your answer. Those two skills we're going to combine and we're going to use rounding firstly to make estimates and then to check answers. <laughs> What we're actually doing in this video then is combining one or two skills that we've already learnt. So these are the two videos that I mentioned in my introduction. Uh, we looked at rounding to the nearest 10 and 100. I want to use that now to show how we estimate answers, which can be a useful thing. We've also looked at checking your answer in a previous video and we did that using a method called reverse calculation. Now I want to look at how we might do that by using rounding. And I've put a couple of links here if you want to go back to either of the two videos first before you continue with this one. So let's start by looking at how we actually use rounding to estimate. Here's a statement. Joe wants to purchase 37 large eggs and 21 small eggs. Now, if we were asked for the total number of eggs, if that was the question, well, let's do the sum. She's got 37 large eggs and 21 small eggs, so we would add the two together. So the answer, seven plus one is eight, and three plus two is five. That is the actual answer. Sometimes, however, we're not actually asked for the total in a question. It actually asks us for the estimate. Now, in order to get an estimate, we take the two numbers and we round them to the nearest 10 in this case. So 37 becomes 40 and 21 becomes 20. Again, have a look at the rules on rounding if you're not sure. And by adding those together, we get 60. So when we're asked roughly or estimate how many eggs Joe has, the answer is about or around 60. It's not an exact answer, it is just an estimate. Let's have a look at another example here. Sue buys 34 key rings costing 17 pence each. And the question actually says, give an estimate of the total cost. It doesn't want the exact total. Let's, in this instance, actually have a look at what the total cost would be. I know we're not being asked for this in the question, but let's just have a look. That would be the actual sum of 34 key rings. They are 17 pence each. So we're going to have to multiply 37 times 17. And of course, that is quite a complicated little sum. Seven times four is 28, so we have to carry the two. Seven times three is 21, plus the two is 23. We then have to multiply by the one, remembering it's in the tens column. One times four is four, one times three is three, and then we add the two rows together. So the actual answer would be, in money, 578 pence or five pounds 78 but we're not being asked to do that therefore actually the word estimate makes things a little bit easier for us because what we do is we round the numbers so 34 rounds down to 30 and 17 rounds up to 20 so the sum that we have to do here is 30 times 20 and because there's lots of zeros it's actually easier to do because zero times something is zero so all we have to do is multiply by the two two times zero is zero and two times three is six therefore our answer comes out at 600 pence or six pounds again it is not the exact answer but it's not too far away. It is a good estimate. 
let's have a look then at how we might use this to check an answer on a question. You will remember if you've seen my previous video that when we looked at checking answers we did it by reversing the original calculation. Here we're going to do something a little bit different and it's an option for you. Evie pays £295 per week in rent. How much will she pay in a year? Now, this is a very specific question wanting an exact answer. So we would have to go 295 and multiply it by 52 weeks in a year. So maybe we'd have a calculator to help us do that. And we find that the answer is £15,340. OK, that has answered our question. How much rent does she pay in a year? It then says show a cheque for your answer. Now, if you were going to do that with reverse calculation, you would be having to divide 15,340 by 52 and it all gets complicated. So instead, as an option, you could simply do it by working out an estimate. And we would look at the 295 and that would round up to the nearest 100. So that would be 300. And we would then look at the 52 weeks, round that to the nearest 10. So that goes down to 50 and multiply the two together. And the answer we get there is £15,000. So by doing an estimate which is reasonably close to the actual answer is an acceptable way to do the check. I just want to look at a final example here because I want to show you how estimation actually allows you to make your own rules up to a certain extent. This is petrol, it cost 107 pence per, per litre. Alex buys 10 litres and it's asking us to estimate the cost. Now, petrol is 107 pence. Now we know that when we are estimating we are going to round that but actually you have the choice of how you are going to round it because if you look at what we've already learned we can round to the nearest 10 or to the nearest 100. So if you decide to round to the nearest 10 then 107 becomes 110. You round it up. So the sum that you're going to do is going to be 110 times 10. And the answer you would end up with would be 11 pounds. However, you might decide to round 107 to the nearest 100, in which case the answer becomes 100. Therefore, your sum is going to be 100 times 10, which is a thousand pennies or 10 pounds. So actually, depending on whether you decided to round to the nearest 10 or round to the nearest 100, you get a different answer. But actually, they're both correct. They are both estimations. So you don't need to worry too much about which digit you are going to round to. You would use the one that seems sensible. So I hope you found that useful. As promised, there are some links in the comments below. And I've also put a link to one of the other videos at the side of me here. Please do hit the subscribe button if you want to see some more of my videos. And hopefully I will see you again. Thank you.